Hello everyone, um, this video is going to be about some of the mechanics you need to know on Darius in order to play him to the optimal level. Now, I mean, I don't really have too many, you know, subscribers or followers yet, but like, the few who are with me know that I already have a video up on my YouTube channel that already does most of what this video is going to do. But the, <laughs> the problem with that video is that I made it on my MacBook. Which, you know, if you actually watch the video, it is extremely low quality and like you can actually count the pixels on the screen. So this is just going to be like an improved version of that, right? So I'm just going to turn everything off real, off real quick and put a dummy down and then show you guys some of the mechanics that you need to know. Starting from like the most important one to like some of the ones that are kind of tricky and are only useful in certain situations. Now. The most important thing on Darius, I mentioned this one multiple times in my guide, and whenever you ask for Darius tips to me on my on my stream, I usually just like give this advice straight off, and it's just the easiest. It's not the easiest, but it's like the most important Darius me mechanic that you need to know, and that is the canceling of the W animation with your Q. Now, um, let's do the like let's do our normal combo now keep in mind that combos and Darius aren't really like a thing because you just gotta use your abilities as soon as they are up in most situations but you know you need to know the most basic combo when you're starting a battle or starting a fight I guess so the most basic combo is you E fuck that was a bit laggy the most basic combo is you E you auto you W and then you Q right Ignore the phase rush. The runes don't matter for this one. It's just, it's just, I'm just trying to explain this. So what I did there was like, like I took every single part of the combo and I broke it down individually. So if you do the combo correctly, it should be like this. Three stacks right off the bat, right? Now, the animation cancel is basically like, you see how Darius does the W, right? Now. The W is an auto attack, but it's like a special kind of auto attack, meaning that like, like it can't really be cancelled. Like it's it's harder than a normal auto attack to like cancel, kind of like Darius's ultimate. And this makes it so that you can actually cancel your W into your Q like this. As you can see, like I didn't even finish the W animation. I just like straight up, like this Q started and the W just morphed onto the target, and that's because the Q just did removes the W animation, but the W is still there, right? So I'll just do it one more time. As you see, both of them happen at the same time, the Q and the W. And the three stacks this way are much, much faster. And mastering this animation cancel is gonna get you a lot of kills and like a lot of just like a lot of quick trades that like that will just get you into a lot more good situations and it'll win you the fight in moments where like winning that fight would have otherwise been just impossible. So I'll do it one more time with the full combo. So E, auto, up. I fucked up. Yeah, if you or like. You kind of have to just find the gold lock zone of like right you have to just press q right when the w animation starts right because if you do it too quickly because if you do it too quickly the w doesn't go off right but if you do it too late then like it's you're, you're not gonna have too much of a trouble but it's not ju it's just not gonna be as fast you know like you have to do it instantly and like league is all about leaving as little time for your opponent to counter play you as possible so you want to be getting this out as quickly as possible but without fucking it up all right so i fucked it up but i'll just do the combo again e auto w q and that's your and that's your basically your combo right that's the one the most like if you're gonna take anything away from this video take that like please it's like it's like a cheat code to playing darius right so the next thing that I want to briefly discuss is the E. As you can see, like the E actually slows the enemy by 40% after you pull them. So like, let's just pull the crab here. You get pulled, and it gets a bit slowed as you can see, right? So what a lot of Darius players don't utilize is that slow. Because <clears throat> the thing is, in lane, let's just move here. Spawn enemy dummy. 
in lane, the way you want to kill an opponent is you want to pull them, and then you want to, you know, walk in front of them as you are them. Like, if this was an action play, they would be walking with me. I just want to, like, walk them to their turret and kill them before they get here. Or even if they do, if they're low enough, I just ult and kill them before they get back, right? Because, you know, there's a lot of way to go here. Like, like there's a long way for them to run before they can get away, and you got to use the full length of the lane, right? Now, um, what this e-slow can do is it lets you get in an extra auto attack into your combo. So like, the, the reason why like, if you guys are both running at the same speed, if you stand still and then auto attack, if they're just outside your turret out of range, then they're just gonna be able to walk away. That might be a good trade, but it won't be a kill. I'm, I'm talking about like, this is the case if you don't have ghost or flash. If you have a ghost or flash, just run them down, auto, 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 whatever, right? But if you don't have either of these, then like, and you just focus on autoing, then they're gonna get away eventually, right? If you don't have your W your, or your E to, you know, catch up to them. But not catch up, but to slow them down and CC them, right? So the one thing, the normal combo is E, auto, W, Q. But like, you can actually fit another auto in there during the slow of the E, right? You E, they're slowed, so you can auto, walk, and then that will be like the, that one second slow will be enough for you to land an auto, walk in front, and then do auto WQ, right? So let's let's do this one again. So I'll let the stack go off. Yep. Yeah, all right. So auto. I mean, fuck. Sorry. E. Auto. Auto WQ. That's like the combo that you want to use. If, like, this only works on immobile champions, right? Or champions that are mobile, but they've used all their mobility. Like, you can't do this into Riven. Into Akali, it's very tricky to do. Because, like, it's Akali, you know? Into, like... Yeah, into, into, like, the high mobility ones, like, sometimes Renekton, this is very difficult to do. But let's say Renekton used his dash in and out, then you're free to use this. Or, like, Orn, or any champion who, like, has either already used their mobility, like Trindamir, or champions that don't even have it. Like, if you're up against a Garen, this combo will probably get you a kill every single time. And there's nothing he can do about it. As long as you, you know, play around his silence properly. Like, there's just, like, nothing some champions can do against this combo. So, like, once again, the Renekton, he went in, stunned me, tr traded, and went out, but then I managed to pull him. Auto, walk in front, auto, WQ, I kite him back, auto him again, and then my ability cooldown. Wait, I'll just like do this with like normal cooldowns, right? So, right, so he dashes in, dashes out, auto, e, pull auto, auto, WQ, and then I walk back, kite, auto again like against a lot of champions it is very important to know how to kite right because tr like trinamir renekton like all these champions ha th their dps is higher than yours for like for the most part irelia right if you just stand there and auto attack them just, just stand there and eat their damage you're gonna lose right you have to be able to like kite them like you have to just avoid their damage until you can get your abilities back in, right? Darius's trading combo for his all-ins is you go in, you do your first combo, you kind of kite them, kite them, kite them, kite them, then you go back in when your abilities are back, and then you can kill them, right? So that's like that's the second thing that I wanted to talk about in this video. The other things are like a bit simpler, but like they're still worth going over in my opinion. So first off, flash Q or flash E, right? Now, in the in the in the options here, I go for a quick cast on everything, right? Just I don't have that. Wait, wait. There's this thing, you know. I don't really use this thing. Now, if you're a newer Darius player and you want to get used to the hit boxes and shit, then like you you're free to use this one, right? If you want to be more precise with who you want to R, let's say you pulled seven people and you want to R a specific one. You can like turn this on and then play with this thing. Like when you hold it down, it shows you, and then you really see like it casts. You can play with that, but like do that only for like your training period where you're getting used to the hitboxes. But like after you've already like learned them, it's much better to just like stop it with like the quick cast. 
Because, like, if it's in your head what the range of Darius's hook is, you're going to just start as soon as, like, you know, that, that millisecond of difference that holding, between holding and tabbing is, like, like, or this, you know, that or that. Like, there's a few milliseconds of difference there, but it is there, right? And you want to be as fast and as efficient as possible, right? There's no, there's no room for fuck-ups, right? And another thing, so speaking of hitboxes, get used to flash queuing and shit, you know? Like, let's say um, you traded with someone, they got an might they're 100 health, they're on the turret, and you're just messing around here, Q's back up, Q, flash, and they're dead, right? To do, to be able to do shit like that, you have to get used to Darius's Q hitbox, and like, and his E hitbox if you want to engage a fight, right? His Q hitbox, like, you'll kind of get the hang of it, and the flash distance, of course, you know? Like, the maximum flash distance, you'll get a hang for it, like, after doing it a few times, you know? And then the Q hitbox, you'll just get a hang of it after getting experience with Darius, you know? So, mechanically, it isn't too, this isn't too difficult to pull off, but basically what you do is, you start your Q, and you kind of got, like, Darius has two parts to his Q. The one where he, like, puts his axe out, and the part where he spins, right? Like, axe out, spins. So, you want to flash as soon as his axe is out, just before it spins, right? Axe out, flash, spin, right? Because if you just like auto and then do this, look at how much time they have to react. Like they have like half a second to react. That is so much time, right? And if it's a champion that can counterplay your Q, like it's a Jax who has his jump, it's a Riven who has her shield and shit, it's all these champions who can counterplay your jump, then you have to be as quick as you possibly can be, right? You have to just leave them no counterplay. So Q. Just like that, right? The closer, like, there's that one tick where Darius damages, right? The closer you get to that tick, but like not past it, the better it will be. But like, don't don't overshoot, right? Like, I'll just like try to like f fuck it up. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a perfect example of me like overshooting it and flashing when Darius spins, right? Because when he spins, he just instantly does the damage. The rest of the spin animation does not matter, right? So he brings the axe out, flash Q. Get that down, right? And you kind of have to like, with flash E, it's like, it's a much simpler. You don't have the buffer or anything, just do the flash E, right? Yeah, I didn't do it quickly, but like, just D and E, like that. This will help you catch people out, this will help you engage team fights. If you're running Aftershock, then knowing how to do this is going to be like, you're going to be the engage for your team, basically. Like, this, knowing how to engage with Flash E allows for you to, like, if you're going for the tankier Darius build, it's like a skill that you have to have, alright? So, you know, just just one more thing that, I, that I'm putting out here, sorry. And the last thing that I'm going to talk about is for, like, let's say your opponent is on 10 HP, and they're running away in lane, right? And you want to ult them to kill them, right? Now, and you have flash. And, look, by the way, a lot of Darius's plays revolve around his summoner spells. Because, quite honestly, like, Darius relies on his summoner spells for the most part, right? Especially in the higher elos. Like, in higher elo, without your summoner spells, you're not really going to be doing too much on Darius, you know? So, just, like, I'm not saying you should be completely inactive, while with it, without your summoner spells, but I am saying like, just like, Darius without sums and Darius with sums, they're two different champions, right? This is a slow turtle who kills everything that walks into him. You can work with your team pretty well, but like, you know, you kind of have to just work with your team. You can't just solo kill everyone. You'll get tired to shit. The Darius with sums is this fucking demon monster that just catches up to everyone. You're, it's very risky. You can get blown up, but if you play perfectly, you'll just obliterate everyone in your fucking way. Right? So, back to the topic of flash R, right? So the normal common sense thing is to flash and then R, right? Now, I did that where I pressed D and then I pressed R. There's this thing in League called buffering your abilities, right? Where if I press R on this target, Darius just walks towards it, 
automatically. Like, I'm not doing anything, right? I just press R on this, and Darius just walks towards him until the target is in his range. Then it just ults automatically, right? You can do that with any point and click ability in the game, and it's called buffering an ability, right? So, how can we use this spell of flash, right? Because if you buffer your R, and then you flash in range, Darius will automatically start the R as soon as you flash, right? So let's just see a comparison here. R, like, I'll just do it again to see the max range of this, right? Did you see how fast that was? Like, let's just compare the two. Like, R first and then flash is much, much, much faster, all right? So like, you have to get a hang of that. Another trick, like probably like one of the last things I'm gonna talk about is something with phage. It's a very simple trick. Let's get some minions. Um, minion spawn. Duck. We're dummies. Let's put the wait for the minions to get to the lane. All right, so we got the minions here. They they're bugged out because you know, right games, but it's fine. They serve their purpose. Now we got their enemy dummy here. And imagine this is like a uh, gangplank, right? It's gangplank. Now, um, we can use our phage. Like, you know how phage works, right? You kill a minion, and then you run. Oh, fuck. You kill a minion, and then you run at them with the moves, right? But sometimes it just won't be enough. Because the auto attack animation is like, it makes you stand still, right? Like, you can't move while auto attacking. Which basically means that, like, What the? Dude, this game is just so bu- Okay, I'm just gonna clear the minions and get them back again. Like, Riot Games, thank you very much. But anyway, the point that I want to make is that, like, sometimes when you want to catch up to your enemy, enemy like, auto-attacking a minion for the phage isn't worth it. What I mean by that is, like, you need the movement speed, and you need it desperately. For those moments, like, just kill the minions with your Q, right? Like, 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 I'm not gonna auto attack this to get the phage thing. I'm just gonna Q it, kill it, and then I'm gonna get it. Right? That, it's, it's a bit trickier, and I'm worse at explaining this specific trick, but basically, like, you don't have to, like, you, you just run towards your opponent. You don't have to stop to auto attack a minion to get the phage passive. You just run at them, you know? So you can get how, like, you know, you sacrifice your Q damage, but you also have a much higher percentage chance of catching them with your E, like getting in range to pull them with your E when you do this, you know? You mostly want to be doing this against, like, Cassiopeia, Gangplank, Teemo a lot of the times, you know? Where, like, they can cut you very, very well. And you just need all the movement speed that you can get. You just can't afford to stop and let them kite away, you know? Into those matchups, you want to be doing this. And that is pretty much it for my Darius Mechanics Guide. Um, I, will, I will be uploading this onto YouTube. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you could actually learn a lot from this. And if there's like... If there's anything you took away from the video, at least let it be that auto WQ thing, you know, this thing. Like, if you took anything away from this video, at least let it be that, right? But, like, the rest of it is all useful, and I've learned all of it from, like, you know, years of just one-tricking this one champion, you know? So, like, I'm not bullshitting you here. It's all important stuff, alright? And, yeah, that is pretty much it for my Darius Mechanics Guide. Um... I will be streaming at Roku TV, twitch.tv slash Roku TV. My username is on my webcam right now. I will be streaming on there almost every day. Actually, I will be streaming after I <laughs> upload this video. Um, so like, if you have any questions, just follow me on there and ask me when I'm live. And I will be able to give you like a more detailed answer because like, like I will be there and you will be able to ask me specific questions. If you have like, if even more specific questions, you're free to just don't you I can't English sometimes. You're free to just join my server on Discord and just DM them to me and I'll be very, very happy to just break it all down and give you like a simple explanation. And that is pretty much it. 
for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully. Peace.